In this video, we'll be further working with free body diagrams. Let's read the question. Suppose you hold some fruit by the stem. What forces are acting on the stem and what are their directions? The correct answer is C. In A, the normal force can't be upwards because we don't have a surface that is exerting a force vertically. In fact, we are holding the grapes just by the tip of the stem. So it's this surface that is contacting with the hand. Now let's take a closer look at the correct free body diagram. So here is our correct free body diagram. We have two normal forces, friction, and the weight of the grapes, so four forces in total. Let's zoom in closer so we can understand why we have these forces. Because we only care about the forces acting on the stem, we have two normal forces from the fingers that are acting on it. So we have the right directed normal force which is due from the finger on the left surface of the stem and we also have the left directed normal force which is due to the finger on the right surface of the stem. Okay, so now let's draw the friction force. We have two surfaces in contact here, so in this case friction is preventing the grapes or fall it on the ground and making a big mess. Now we are only missing the weight of the grapes. So let's draw that in and our free body diagram is complete. So let's go over our free body diagram again. We have the friction, we have the two normal forces exerted sideways, and we have the weight of the grapes. Notice that our forces are all balanced, so there is no acceleration unless you decide to drop the stem. Hopefully this example gave you a more clearer idea of how to work with forces when we hold an object vertically.